make it semi-final of the T9 qualifier. We're going to start off with an early first blood. It's looking like onto Captain Kuro as uh, Nigma is in. Some else, but they can get blocked in. Oh, no. Mind control. Cold Feet is going to stun him One very block. soon, but he needs a coin play. No! So Mail gets out of vision just in time. The coin blade not able to come in. Mind control misses out on a kill still though maybe it's not gh comes in doesn't throw off a fate bolt onto the medusa instead soxa with it His, uh, mind control still trying to chase down heroes underneath this tower miracle is actually gonna wrap in from behind with his earned pickup and finds a male behind the tier two tower so male knows he's dead and no tail very likely to follow him we're gonna push back Miracle here in the mid lane to make sure that the Teach Creep does die. Oh, Resident Pulse tried to catch the uh, Void Spear and keep him inside of that EMP. They're actually gonna go for this kill. Miracle underneath the effects of the Ice Blast may end up ticking out here. Is that gonna be enough? God, it's gonna be so close, but I think he's just gonna be a bit shy. Oh! G.H. See if he can jump away from the astral step. Another one? No. Thompson comes in with a huge amount of damage. Soxa also managed to get a spike carapace on that astral step hit, yeah. so. That's a double step. Boy, they're gonna try and blow up Thompson as quick as possible. It is not quite enough, but the Golem is there. They finally get him. Calling Blade still in the back pocket of Mind Control. If they can bring somebody else a little bit low, but Samael is working them all back with a stone kick. Two supports in the side. ILTW gets an opportunity to blow up Samael. Bye bye, mana. Bye bye, carry. OG just uh, not expecting this resilience of Enigma underneath their tier two towers. Overstepping themselves a bit and losing a big shit ton of no damage. No four staffs. No four staffs on OG. The call misses. Seb able to back away fast enough, and he can get off his ultimate mind control. His life is going to be forfeit here. Nigma, they're going to try and retreat, but Thompson's already taking advantage of this, trying to catch some of these heroes. Any mage is hunting Thompson right now, but ILTW unable to spot him just yet. Miracle's going to get pulled back. ILTW trying to find a way into this one. The Cataclysm go now, not really doing a whole lot of damage here. Miracle dies to the Vendetta. Hit. Instead of your axe. The split is going to be popped because all Seb needs is team fight and he's ready to go brew form. Now has the Aghanims up, so they'll always have one ready. Oh, this gets fancy. Oh, my control getting caught again. Zaxa managed to find the opening here onto Nigma. They spot my control trying to play around the Oh, I don't know. You jumping in and immediately blowing up Thompson. Now the supports are low as well. Fortunately, the Storm Panda will get ILTW out of this fight, but the rest of Nigma can still catch up. The EMP Tornado catching Soxa here, but the turnaround is pretty is doing a lot of damage, but at the same time, Samael is losing much of his mana here on his first life. Still, though, oh, the damage it. being pumped out by him. The turnaround stolen from GH. Managed to get the Brewmaster split, keeping himself alive and throwing some nice disables out. Soxa looks to be able to kill GH, though. Three more seconds. Can he get away? He's going to turn back in a Rubik form, though, and I think he's likely dead. He's not going to be able to find him. Gives an outpost. Next assassin. Do they actually know about this Aghanim Scepter? I'm not sure if they do. The call goes out from Mind Control, initiating onto some mail, but he's got an Aegis. This is not a good jump for them, especially with an Ix assassin sitting forward like this. The Sun Strike Cataclysm doing a lot of damage, and that is going to be enough to manage to get the kill on the socks. That Miracle's going to be up next. But Seb giving up on that chase. ILTW is able to blink away. The upheaval is slowing down most of OGs. They're not able to retreat quite as quickly as they would like to. And the form. You know, just gonna push. I'm committed on Aegis, why not? Already with a butterfly and no MKB in sight to the AM. MC, uh, what? My control? What? Blinky. Oh dear, what is going on with MC today? These blinks are not good at all. Thompson trying to go for the kill on a GHA. Stolen Dissimilate. We'll manage to get him out. A nice fatal bond. Golem drop. Thompson flow. Can they get a little bit more damage onto him? ILTW blinks into the back line. Spots him. One hit and that's all it takes. ILTW is going to have to pop his Manta here. He can still go for no tail if he wants to, but he's got to be careful of getting chain stuff up here. One more second until the blink. He's out. With Thompson down and the Aegis soon to expire, I think Nigma would like to be able to catch OG as they start backing away. Mind Control has got to I don't know, grab a glass of water or something before he respawns. Maybe a quick cold I mean, they shower. Just some ale. Ancient Apparition TP'd out, and nobody's really sticking by his side. The Nixon Assassin's going to go down. Beautiful impale. Oh, and so so he's actually going to die to this one. The Ice Watch coming in. ILTW points. Oh, he's about to place his role perfectly. Great stun. 
And now OG, oh, hunt. That's going to send the goal. But the stun is even coming out on Dial TW. That's going to save Samael so much damage. Here on TW Stone Days up. He's hit by the Aghanim Scepter Mystic Snake, and that keeps him from being able to blink away. Mind Control survives, but without a carry for 80 seconds, OG should be able to take most of this. Unfortunately, tier twos are still up. So if they want to go for Throne, they're going to have to kill more of the Enigma members here. Nice steal from the Prime Blade once again. He's level 23, so he's got the talent. Radiance right, With two male, who had got called. You really just can't lose this if you just don't let your Deuce die. Yeah. Yeah. First off, pop the primal split just to kind of ensure that uh, Nigma does not feel good about taking this fight. The ice blast did hit the axe, so he's not going to be able to blink in and initiate. G is going to do it for him as he turns into the primal split. I also you trying to burn out the mana of Sumail. Just oh, managed to do so and pulls him up from the end of the void. You have to remember this combination, this counter is available throughout the game, and they have to protect Sumail at all costs. And as soon as he's gone, the team fight's just done and dusted. ILTW and the rest of Nygma are just going to grab whatever heroes they can here. ILTW spotted for a second there. That's a hefty amount of damage that just came out, Kyle. Jumping in. Oh, oh immediately he got cold, cold snapped, and now Samael is not going to be able to... Oh, telekinesis! Never mind, the mana boy comes in from ILTW, and then Medusa just falls. I thought he was going to be able to get off Stone Gaze, but no. He too. not get anything off there. He's going to go ahead and just... Come right back here. Soxa and Thompson are gonna have to hold out this team fight. They do manage to bring down ILCW once, but a second time unlikely as the rest of OG are running for the hills right now. You can see Thompson is actually already looking to cut by. That should be the OG mantra right now. He's so close. 75 int or split shot uses modifiers. Both would be ideal. But they're gonna take this fight without it, Cap. Pump fake a couple times, Impale not going off, they're gonna go for the call now, jumping on to Samael, Port Snap trying to get him a little bit of distance, he does get the mana back, but it's not enough, by LPW does far too much damage, and he just rips through the Medusa again and again, he has to be a little bit scared. Nigma now, they know for sure it's four on five, Medusa has the five back. Are you seeing this celebrity invoker? You can hardly see him do his attack. He's attacking so damn fast. Uh, Lackerty Animage will take game number one. You deserve nothing. You deserve worse. Right. That's an interaction right there. Dyer's <laughs> middle uh, Let's <laughs> head back into the game as we're going to watch uh, Stab being run down as the axe right now. Tornado not quite clipping no tail. And uh, looks like Dyer's he may be running a bit shy of game and shot. And putting himself for a nice two man pushback into the call as well. A huge wombo no, combo no, from OG no, that should have. Got two kills and he dies. Sharpshooter on point. Miracle dies. Into the off lane tower area. They do have the vision of the loot up. They want to be able to kill him first. All goes on successfully. The arrows will be able to follow it up. They do have the TP in, but they're not going to be able to take this carry fast enough to pull in play. Oh, yeah, but can actually run away here. Trying to be saved by the local, but did not play a tornado. No, he gets lots of false promise anyway. Seb will have a chance to be able to get away. Meanwhile, Soxa and Tamil are trying to fire. He can run a GH from behind. Hoodwing shows up. Catching Miracle. He dies. Curl left for last is mind control. Looks to be a lot of those trees and you missed. Middle mind control is now going to die as a result of that. They must get quite a few exchange for one hero, rather, but that's fine. As long as they still have enough control to be able to win this fight. Thompson, hurry through the trees, does manage to land a nice more slack. The arrow socks is going to find the opening, but it's not needed. The sharpshooter does enough damage to be able to bring down Miracle. And now, without the mid later, another bushwhack. Thompson lands a beauty on the two. The rest of the team having a hard time getting into this back line. ILTW managed to get out the eclipse. Running around on a socks up, but the arrow goes out. ILTW goes down. Curl's going to fall right after him. Enigma losing ground here. Mind Control and GH are looking to be able to hold around this tier 2 tower. Thompson can blow the pure damage. The chalk from pullback is just enough to be able to kill the earthquake. Now Mind 
pushes forward. He may have lost this team fight. Nigma may have lost this team fight, but he is trying to rectify things. But a turnaround set. Man, he's gonna call onto GX leading through the air once again. My control putting out the damage, but he's having a hard time being able to burst down this axe and now has to run away from the rest of OG. As they look to pursue, turn around, going for the axe. Not quite good enough. Mind control. Seb dancing around the opposing off laner successfully stays alive and they win a massive team fight. Hey, let's find another kill. This time, Furo is not only going to lose his life, but lose the ward that he just won. Really out of ward now. Spotting Thompson. This would be a really good kill. He doesn't have BKB, but at the same time, Paul Tom is ready to go from no tail if needed. Paul does want to grab the timber stop, but not much more than that. I also get charging for whiskey and clips. Trying to push out the damage. Thompson slams the head on a miracle. He killed him with a sharpshooter. Paul Tom has saved him, and now with that double damage, he's going to. Play in damage cost to the timber saw. They're gonna catch up the Isles and W gets called and pulled into the tier one power radius. And he's got nothing to do but hit the tier one. He kills the tower but does die in the process. Hey, one shot, another sharpshooter. This one whipping a bit. He does get your step here. Oh, here to be able to get the oh, 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 Time miracles looking to be able to kill Soxa. Disruption fought a little bit of time, but eventually he comes back and dies. ILTW looking for the chop does manage to get it on to no tail. Uses that movement speed to try and run away once again. The chakram cutting down the tree. The Thompson was looking to be able to connect with a bushwhack. Now he's going to be pulled back, but they got to be careful of this double damage. Miracle's well one mana. Miracle is going to get run down. Miracle distance here. Thompson is going to be caught by a burrow strike at the center. No tail tries to create some space for him, but only does more harm than good as the split. Winter Blast helps to kill Thompson. No tail being run down by ILTW right now. So that is going to whip. Seb running some interception here. But at the same time, no tail does manage to grab the Miracles. A long jump over to be able to finish off that support. Some is here, but a Winter's Curse is going to be able to stop his damage. High control resetting up. Two man burrow strike. Beautifully done by Nigma as they respond to OG's aggression with a bit of moves from their own. Now looking to be able to run down Soxa next as Miracle has just. Just enough mana to put a few more hits of damage on him to him. ILTW you not even needing to calling play. GH keeping himself alive with the cold embrace. Meanwhile, can he get away? Seb's got the mana. He's going to go for a TP out for the Chakram pullback. And one punch is enough for Seb. Claim the double kill. Back over to Miracle. He has what? no mana. He's still so here. He's not getting out of here. He's trying to go around that hump and down the ramp. He likely would have died and may still die. In fact, Kuro's going to be able to hit that one punch that slows him down so much. No oh, what a beautiful position. Positioning of the arena here, locking out two heroes and pinning in mind control to the walls, but Miracle still able to catch up. Not quite enough as he's stuck inside the winner's curse. Disruption can Thompson get away? No, denied by the burrow strike from mind control. It will cost him his life though. Miracle running a bit low on mana. He needs to be able to jump away. He's got the purge on him. Does he have enough HP to be able to survive? TP out. They just need a little bit more than a spear. Runs him over. Lines to this maneuver. A four man smoke from them. Going to go around Seb's timber on ILTW. The smoke breaking. Doesn't immediately jump forward. Catch jumps now, but he doesn't catch anything. The arena going out. What a beautiful burrow strike in from my control. Delays so much. Miracle. Oh, the bushwhack catching Miracle, but he's still going to be okay. Jumps on Asaksa. Not going to be good enough. The tombstone being dealt with during that stone gate. Still trying to go for the shadow demon, but Miracle has used everything he has to be able to get that kill. And now the rest of OG have to be able to operate without that hero playing out. ILTW being chased down by Seb. Boomerang on him. Look for the damage from Seb as soon as they get oh, okay. What? What? Oh, he's back in to try and kill them. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Still gets the snake, but there's no real follow-up to it. That is just 
in right now, and maybe he's overextended himself. They're going to jump onto him, throw out the magic damage. The disruption does help him for a second. Miracle's got to be careful. Winter's Curse going down. It's going to be able to buy the Timber Saw a little bit of time to be able to work with here. The Tomb is out. Zombies are building up, and Seb is not finding the, the trees to be able to connect to right now. But Samael is standing and putting out the damage. Thompson, though, not able to have the same kind of survivability. They are picking apart the corners of OG right now and ignoring the Medusa. Mind control, two-man bro strike once again. Again, finding these oh, disabled. No tail putting ILTW down at the low ground, but this is a one fight for Nigma. If anything, ILTW wants to be able to pursue these heroes. As once again, a two man burrow strength for mind control. This guy has totally disrupted anything that OG wants to do by him. And it does buy OG a little bit more time to be able to get that Scotty. That Scotty, which he does not have because his courier died. So they're currently waiting on the ultimate orb miracle. He's actually going to go on to set here with the orc in the burrow strike. May not be enough damage, though. The spear catching him and miracle. Does get caught by the Mystic Snake. Still alive, though. Winter's Curse resetting the team fights. They're going to get the team showed out. And now comes the turn. Now comes the burrow strike. And they are chopping down OG members. Oh one by Two games of Medusa, two losses. Today, Sumail. Loses on Dusa, wins on Drow. Not much time to bring this one back. Shiva. On Dusa once again. Spear goes down, but Miracle oh, managed to dodge nice. it. He goes straight for Sasha. Thankfully, the Eon Disc will manage to keep him alive, but another winner's curse going out. Disruption actually being able to save Thompson for a bit. When he comes back, though, he's just going to go straight into a two man ball strike again. Thompson falls to start the team fight, but Zeb does get that seriously good damage as Pearl is about to fall here. Another missed Timber Chain, though, as Miracle has cleaned up the back line, finishing off Soxet. Now he goes for the full back, and look at this ILTW Axe go. BKB and just runs at Heroes. Finishes off Zeb with a cooling plate. Next up is going to be No Tail, slowed down by the Shivas. Miracle's got that one. Zeb comes back with a buyback, trying to save some mail here, but he doesn't have any disables. A beautiful Mystic Snake, though. Cold Embrace going out, saving Miracle for a time, but the other two are dangerously low. Miracle needs to be able to jump, jump away right now. Does manage to kill the Mars first before he zips away, but right into the hands of Seb, who now looks to be able to run down Curl Digma. They had this team fight won, but they underestimated significantly more in the team fights. But LTW is chasing, they know Seb has no buyback. Yeah, and they're gonna go for him. Burrow strike four and complete whip there from mind control. Not able to grab anything, but ILTW with the call is going on to Samail. The Manta Illusions are spinning Samail down to a battle. Yeah, Miracle but At the same time, Miracle got speared in. They caught him. ILTW is trying to stay on top of Thompson right now, but Thompson is gonna be able to bushwhack him over to the side this time around. It's OG who win the start of the fight right away. And Nick Thank you, man. Miracle has no BKB though. They're gonna go for him. They're gonna go for the Simmer Saw. They're actually gonna try and burst him down. They just might be able to use already down to half health. No Tail is gonna be caught as well, dodging away from the Bushwhack. Yule Scepter going up, but No Tail almost falling. Disruption actually bails him out for a second there. No Tail is not dead just yet. Winter's Curse pulling him in onto Thompson. Thompson though, they want to be able to go for Miracle. Miracle slowed down. He is out of mana. He's dead. Gone for two minutes. No, my bad. He just ran out of mana like that and the rest of Nygma are going to be... just be a chatter in Twitch because they must be having a ton of fun with this one just like us and oh my god oh, got to be careful the soul catcher ILTW slowed down the pull the brace is going to be there but at the same time so is the timber sign soon as he comes back from that winner's curse a whirling death is going to do a big amount of hurt there goes the bushwhack and he's dead our sharpshooter through to the back line hit the winner wyvern but they're going to go for curl first again he dies the whirling death it is what? too much damage with that level 25 talent mind control is I think he was trying to cut creep waves or something he pops a BKB but now he's slowed down to a crawl hold the brace again but at the same time, there's all this setup from OG. They do have Miracle back, and they do have two buybacks, but it's going to be a four versus five. So Mail use buyback. They see this Divine Wraith here. Gee, you got to be careful. Eontis does protect him. No tail. Zoning up the heroes with the arena. But, oh, there's a Miracle jump. And a three with the Undying Coat going on top. So Mail, though, they've got to be careful of that damage. He's not dying anytime time soon. ILTW does manage the call onto the Mars. The throne, it's not being hit right now. So Mail is just being kited about. He has to be able to flicker himself out of here. He's going to down. down next. Curl, he's catching up. Samael's out of mana. Miracle's back and forth. He flickers over to the side. Samael needs to help. Winter's curse being put onto him. But they do manage to cut down the undying. Two dead. A call immediately afterwards from ILTW. They need to be able to kill this. Medusa is almost dead. Samael, Samael, Samael. Disruption.
Sergeant say? He's up on the pushway. A shot blows out Miracle. He's trying to stay alive, but the Divine Rapier is down. And that is it. He stays alive through all of that. Does manage to go for the throw. Now Miracle, just a happy boy throwing out his AWE.